I nervous? Why am I nervous? I'm gonna be nervous for some time now to get on camera like this. <laughs> it's gonna be something to adjust to. Um, but you know what? We're here. Okay, hello. Welcome back to another video. My name is Esther, and thank you so much for tuning in in today's video. Um, in case you're new, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so then you're always notified when your girl uploads. So today, my babies, I'm just going to play with some makeup. I don't want to do too much because my lashes are not as dramatic, you guys know. Okay, I'm getting them done this week. They're a little bit thin, so I'm going to do just a simple look because every time I do a dramatic look with my lashes looking like this, I just feel like it does not look right. It looks like I'm rocking thin lashes and I don't really like that. So what I'm going to do is just um, do a simple look and I want to try out some new products as well. Why the heck not? Y'all already know, grab yourself a snack, tea, whatever. I got my water here. This is what we're about to be drinking right now. Um, yeah, and let's go ahead and get started. How y'all doing? <laughs> How y'all doing today? How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling great. I mean, clearly I'm here. I'm chatting with you guys and couldn't get any better than that. This is my first makeup tutorial with my short haircut. I'm excited. I want to see how I look. Well, I've already seen how I look with makeup, but I want y'all to see how we going to transform today. So I'm going to start off with this Grace Stella Spray All Day Rose Spray. I've been loving this. It has been my before and my after makeup routine. And even when I do my skincare routine, just to freshen up my skin, this has been my go-to. If you have dry skin or you just love that hydration and you want to look glowy, um, this is perfect. It low-key kind of reminds me of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Um, moisturizer, don't have it here, moisturizer. But this is more like in a spray bottle. Just... Spray it all over. Got my fan here. Move a little faster with the drying. But y'all, this feels so good. Ooh. <sighs> Since I've already done my skincare off camera, I wanted to just put some eye cream underneath my eyes as usual. I'm gonna grab the Ole Hennigsen Banana Bright Eye Cream. And um, this is just going to brighten my under eye. And I usually love using my ring finger because it's so much more gentle compared to all the other fingers that you have. And tap, tap, tap. Sometimes I forget and I drag, but you don't want to drag. You just want to tap it into the skin because your under eye is so sensitive. And you do not want to like drag the product. Sometimes I do because I forget, but once, once you catch yourself, go back into tapping, okay? So next up, I'm going to grab my... Um, <laughs> What is this? The Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I haven't used this this much this summer, surprisingly, and it's one of my favorite primers to use in the summer. I just feel like your foundation lasts a lot more longer, um, and it just looks so much more flawless, in my opinion. This is a good primer. So if you have not yet got your hands on it, I don't know if they sell a sample one, and if they do, grab the sample, test it out, wear your makeup all day. I promise y'all, y'all gonna love this primer. It's that good. So we're gonna just... This primer, oh, that's a lot. Don't want to use a lot. Sometimes I go heavy hand on my primer, sometimes, you know, sometimes. But yeah, we're gonna just put my primer and then we're gonna move to the brows because y'all know me. I do my brows first and um, then I jump into like my foundation routine because I can never do my foundation routine and then do my brows. It's just impossible. So we're gonna just blend this in and then tap it in there it is a tad bit sticky but i love the stickiness because that means your foundation is going to grip on this primer and it's going to sit in your face so flawless trust me brows i'm going to grab the anastasia um is it anastasia or anastasia i just say anastasia at this point i've always been saying anastasia but I'm gonna grab the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly fill in my brows with this brow pencil. You guys have seen me do my brows so many times on camera. So I just feel like you guys don't need to see it today. But I am gonna just like plug a little bit. Just a little bit because... Woo! I feel like um, this brow needs a little bit of help. Okay, so I haven't done this in such a long time, but I'm going to grab my setting powder and just place this on my brow. Just so my brow can be a little, um, 
Let me just grab a freaking brush and I'm grabbing a Morphe brush. It's brand spanking new. It's brand new. And this is the Morphe um, E27 brush. Just gonna grab a little bit of powder and just place that on the brow. So that it kind of makes my life easier to fill in my brow. I haven't done this in so long. I learned this trick from um, one of the makeup artists that did my makeup here on YouTube. So I decided, let me just steal that idea and try it. And I have been loving it. I just stopped using this technique because, um, I don't know, sometimes you just forget. <laughs> So brows are kind of done. I'm going to grab this Beauty Blender um, concealer. And this is in the shade 4.20W. I'm just going to take a little bit and just put that on the back of my hand. And this is just going to be what I will be using to clean my brows with. Remember, all brushes that I will be using will be in the description box in case you're curious. But I'm going to take this flat Morphe M432 brush. It is just perfect to clean my brow with brows have been so annoying lately i don't know why i don't know i don't know i just feel like i don't know how to do my brows anymore so weird and this is my first time using this concealer so this shade right now is actually pretty nice So you guys, brows are done, filled in, and they look okay. For some reason, I just feel like, I, I feel like I don't remember how to do my brows. Like, what the heck is this? Guys, okay, so now it is time for foundation. So for foundation, I'm going to grab this Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation in the shade 470 Cool Sienna. I haven't tried this bad boy out yet, and I'm excited to try it out because, y'all, this is like the newest foundation from Milani in case I'm... Yeah, this, is, this has to be the newest foundation from Milani because I just got it this year. Um, I've seen a lot of people use it already, so I'm really, really excited to use it. I know some of y'all really love it, the ones who have used it. Now, I didn't have time to clean my brushes, y'all, so I'm just trying to clean them oh, as best as I can, okay? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take the foundation and just dot it all around the face. Just little tiny dots. Cause I have a feeling this is going to give me a nice like like coverage so put that there and then I'm gonna use this mented brush um this brush I got it from mented when they um, released their under eye setting powder I have been loving this brush for foundation you guys are gonna see why I've been loving it but let me go ahead and just blend this foundation into the skin Also blend it under my chin to my neck. Wow, y'all, this is, wow, this shade is perfect. First of all, the coverage and just how natural it looks. Hmm. Do y'all see this? Or am I seeing something different? Because y'all see how natural this looks? Now this foundation is luminous and natural and I'm definitely getting that with this foundation. Oh yeah, I gotta catch my ears now, y'all, since I'm not wearing a wig or anything. Gotta make sure my ears are matching with, um, with my fave. Concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Beauty Blender Concealer. Um, like I mentioned, in the shade 4.20W and it's the same concealer that I used to um clean up my brows with i feel like this is pretty cool and i kind of want to test this concealer out a little bit more too so i'm just going to go ahead and just highlight as usual i'm also going to apply this concealer on my eyelid because we want everything to look the same and then we're going to catch my forehead and then also apply this concealer under my nose I'm gonna grab my beauty blender and just blend this all in so you guys how's everybody doing i hope everybody's doing well y'all 
I'm just here trying to get used to, you know, my new hairstyle. And, you know, it's something really new for me to rock, um, you know, for me to rock this much in public. Um, so far, I have been getting some eyes, but it's like, not those eyes that people are looking at you like this. It's actually those eyes that people are looking at you smiling. I don't know why. <laughs> or maybe it's like they've never seen, I don't know, but it's definitely different. And I'm smiling throughout the day. Every time I step out, I'm rocking this hairstyle so well. Like, I'm not letting this hairstyle rock me. I'm rocking this hairstyle. Y'all feel me? Y'all feel me? But it's definitely something for me to get used to. I'm thinking about coloring it like I've already mentioned. I just want to go, like, a little bit lighter. Black is cool. I've rocked black hair for so long and so much that I just think it's time for a new color um, since it's already something different already. Might as well, you know, put some color in it. And in case I don't like it, I guess I can just go back to black. But I know the color that I want to do. I'm going to love it because I've already rocked it, but in like a wig. So I'm so excited, y'all. I have been loving this hairstyle more and more since I've been rocking it. <laughs> Wow, I, I, I could never say that. I, I'm just shook that I'm even saying this right now, but I really love this hairstyle on me. I have a big forehead, but then I low-key have a little face in a way. So I just feel like this hairstyle really looks flattering on me. And OMG, you guys, Junior loves this hairstyle. Like, he cannot keep his hands off of me. <laughs> Let's just say that. He cannot keep his hands off me. Like... I don't know what he loves about this hairstyle. I guess he loves me with short hair. Like, that's what he keeps saying. So, you know, it's been really good. Let's just tell y'all that it's been really, really good. But yeah, so let me just blend this in, y'all. So for contour, I'm gonna grab this ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Concealer in the shade Deep Dark 205N. And I'm just gonna go ahead and contour with this bad boy. Wow, I have a lot of room to contour, but you know, it is what it is. So let me just go ahead and blend this contour out, out, out and about. I think this is going to be my favorite part in my whole makeup routine. I mean, it's always been my favorite part, but I think I'm going to love it even more. And also, I'm pushing my contour upwards so uh, my contour does not look muddy or anything like that same thing on the chin so i'm also going to blend my nose contour this is so early of me you guys i normally never film this early but it's only 9 48 a.m so if i actually looked tired in the beginning of this video just know i started filming this video a lot earlier than usual so for under eye setting powder, you guys, I'm going to grab this new Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Honey. Y'all, this new Translucent Setting Powder is so beautiful. So if you already love the regular Translucent, they just came out with like a newer shade and I'm obsessed, like obsessed with it. Um, but I feel like this one has a little bit more of a yellow undertone and you guys know how I feel about yellow undertones. I love it, especially under the eye. It's such a vibe. Love it. So, yeah, it's right here. I'm going to just take it and just set like usual. But, yeah, y'all, I'm so glad they came out with this shade. Um, I definitely feel like this setting powder will look so flawless on a lot of women of color, in my opinion. Like, it's so flawless. So, I'm going to take a brush and just... Set it on my eyelids as well. Okay, so this is the NARS um, Cosmetics Bronzer. I cannot pronounce that name to save my life, so I'm not going to try. Never seen that name, never heard of it. But it's the matte bronzer. This is actually the darkest shade in the new collection. I think this is their summer bronze, something like that collection. It's just so flawless so i'm excited to try this out today like i mentioned yeah this is the darkest shade they did send me all of the shades and i felt like this was the only shade i can grab um that i can rock now i'm not gonna go heavy-handed with it 
tap off the excess it just runs away and this is just going to set where I bronzed so my um my concealer bronzer does not move a smudge or anything like that so for blush I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Maybelline brush brush what the heck Maybelline blush and this is in the shade um very bad. I'm gonna grab this Morphe M401 brush. This is fluffy. It is going to blush away. You guys know I've been loving blush like crazy. And I'm also gonna apply some on my nose. But yeah, like I said, I've been loving blush like crazy. And I feel like now, since I'm rocking a short haircut, blush is such um, blush is going to be such a huge statement. <laughs> It's gonna look so cute on me. But yeah, this blush is gorgeous. Apply some of my nose just to make everything look really nice. Okay, so for highlight, I just got a new highlight that just came in. It looks like this. So pretty. I think I'm gonna take this shade right here. It looks more, um, more subtle, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna take this shade right here. Let me swatch it for you guys. Highlight away. And then I'm just gonna blend the forehead part together and also the brow bone pop that on top too so you guys for the eyes I'm gonna keep it simple I know you guys are tired I am so sorry first of all let me just apologize I'm sorry for the freaking natural simple looks bear with me as soon as I get my feel y'all I got y'all all makeup looks, don't worry. But today, I just wanted to keep it simple and I want to film another video. So, I decided why not do like my first time doing my makeup, you know, with short hair. And why not you do one of my favorite makeup looks of all time. Um, so, I'm going to grab this Morphe. This is the Morphe 25A palette. Looks like this. Has a lot of neutral shades. Fall is coming, so I feel like this is such a fall vibe. So I'm going to start with... This shade right here, this palette does not have names, so bear with me. Just work, work, blend this into the crease. It's been so long since I've done like a, uh, like a red lip. Actually, I might use my red um, lipstick from MAC if I can find it. The Wooby Woo. It's been so long since I've used that lipstick, y'all, so I might use that. I'll see, I'll see. So me and Junior just moved. I felt like I forgot to tell you guys something, and that's what I wanted to tell y'all. So we just moved. We're actually in our new place. Um, we're in the same apartment complex, just a different layout, a lot more bigger. And this layout has an attached, um, it has an attached garage. I am so happy about that. You guys don't even understand. Oh, uh, but yeah. So we just moved. So we have had a lot going on in the last couple weeks. But now everything is like cooling down and it's coming all together. So we're excited to, you know, just stay here for a while. Um, this is going to be a new home until we buy our dream home. So we are excited for that as well. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to grab a little bit of a darker shade. I think I'm going to grab this dark brown right here. Um, and just, ooh. Yeah, I'm going to just grab that and... Just darken this look up a little bit. Work that into my crease as well. Let me know what should I do. What do you guys love as a backdrop? Do you guys love like a just a plain backdrop or do you guys love like a cozy backdrop? Because I love my videos to look more cozy. I don't like them to look, you know, like I'm in a whole filming like place. Nah, I like it more cozy. I like it more natural. So yeah, so let me know what y'all are thinking in the comment section. So I'm just taking that first eyeshadow and just blending these two eyeshadows together. So for eyeliner, you guys, I'm going to grab my favorite eyeliner at the moment. And this is just a tight line um, cat eyeliner. And this is in the shade Black Ebony from Laura Mercier. I've used this already on camera and I've loved how it turned out. So I'm like, you know what? Why not use it today? 
Okay, so that's all done, y'all. I'm missing so much lashes. It's kind of annoying. So I'm going to take this Huda Beauty um, eyeliner and just work this under my water lash line. And I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and just work this um, on my bottom lashes. Okay, so I'm going to grab my Frasarly Setting Mist and um, I'm going to just set my face with this. So last but not least, ooh, my Wooby Woo is almost done, but I'm going to grab my MAC lipstick in the shade Wooby Woo, Wooby Woo. Who still rocks this shade and who still rocks MAC? Okay, lipstick. Let me know in the comment section. That looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. Cute, cute. So I'm gonna do one more thing again. Um, the highlighter that I use and just pop that in the inner corner. I was about to say blush, like, come on, Esther, what's going on? Okay, so I went ahead and set my face one more time, you guys. Let me go ahead and change, um, and I'm going to pop some different earrings, like little mini hoops, if I can find it, if I can find that bag. But let me go ahead and change, you guys, and I will be right back. All right, my baby, so this is it for this look. Um, like I mentioned, it was something super simple. I just wanted you guys to get ready with me and, you know, <laughs> and rock this short haircut with you guys. But nonetheless, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I went ahead and just threw on this blazer dress that I just feel like it goes really well with this look. Anyways, you guys, I love y'all so, so, so much. Now, Penasana, and thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy, and also subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so then you're always notified when your girl uploads. All right, y'all, I will chat with you guys in my next video.